We start with breaking news from Peru, where President Pedro Castillo says that he's dissolving Congress and installing an emergency government. A state of emergency has also been declared and a curfew has been announced. The opposition had been debating whether to impeach the president for a third time. Peru has faced a string of political crises since Castillo took office 18 months ago. Let's go live now to Lima at Al Jazeera's Mariana Sanchez, who can tell us more uh, about Congress being dissolved. So, so what happens next? Well, Adrian, uh, President Pedro Castillo has indeed dissolved Congress. This is a, an auto coup, an auto coup d'etat, which uh, we had seen in 1992 when Fujimori, former President Alberto Fujimori, also dissolved Congress. Now, what has uh, uh, Castillo said? He has said that he will reorganize the judiciary, the prosecutor's office that has all these investigations that are uh, uh, that are pointing at him at criminal acts that he has committed, uh, criminal acts, and he has called the armed forces to patrol the streets. He said that he will soon, very soon, call for congressional elections, and in the meantime, he will be governing with urgent decrease. Why has Castillo done this? He says that he has sent 70 projects to Congress and they were all rejected, and that uh, Congress had tried to impeach him for treason, which he calls absurd. Uh, uh, he has indeed survived to two impeachment attempts uh, this year and last year. And uh, he said that Congress wanted, wants to impose a congressional dictatorship. Uh, now, uh, uh, just uh, 30 minutes, sort of 30 minutes before Castillo went on air to uh, in this uh, message to the nation, the uh, chief of the army resigned. This was very suspicious because uh, the army is a key element in this uh, in this uh, situation that is now uh, moving. In the last few hours, we had uh, seen more witnesses talking about how Castillo's friends and family uh, were involved. Uh, supposedly in uh, criminal acts and uh, of, uh, uh, of uh, Castillo's uh, uh, receiving parts from different people. So uh, it, the Congress at the same time was about to uh, begin a debate to impeach him in about two hours from now. They have uh, advanced the hour. They are now uh, in Congress uh, speaking and it is possible that this that they could indeed unseat President Castillo. So it is a very, very difficult situation. It is a very, it's uncertain. And really the key here, uh, Adrian, is we have to see what yeah. the military will do because it is impossible to have a coup d'etat here yeah. with, uh, without the military support. And as far as the people are concerned, what's been their reaction to the president's announcement? Well, there's some people in the streets who were uh, protesting in support of Castillo because of this um, uh, debate that was going to happen in a couple of hours. There's a lot of tension. There's calm. And uh, we have been seeing uh, reports from different uh, army uh, barracks and different army uh, uh, bases that everything is calm. So we have to see if the army will support this, and also the um, uh, the Marines and uh, the Air Force. It won't happen just like that. It has to happen with all the uh, armed forces supporting Castillo. So we will see what what will happen in the next few minutes or hours. Really, it's, it's uncertain. Uncertain what's happening right now. Mariana Sanchez, they're live in Lima for the moment. Mariana, many thanks indeed.